table that is, uh, it looks like it's a nice antique from the 1900 to 1920 period, just a guess, uh, that I picked up off the side of the road. It needs some attention to the finish, uh, but it also has some repairs that are needed to uh, where the legs attach to this little shelf below. So looking at the top of this, we've got a few little dings and nicks. Uh, there are places where the finish is missing. There's some water rings. And so I'm going to go ahead and strip the top of this and refinish that. All the legs at the bottom are tied together by this little uh, piece down here. I don't know that I would call it a shelf exactly. Uh, but all the legs are a little bit loose, and two of them are broken here. It almost looks like maybe somebody tried to put their foot here. And uh, there are some dog chews on this particular little spindle right here. So we're going to see if we can't repair these. Uh, if necessary, I'll turn new ones, but I hope to uh, be able to reuse these. We're going to have to take uh, the top off, take the legs loose, and re-glue everything. It looks to me like all the spindles are the same, but I'll go ahead and match mark everything just to be sure uh, there are not some subtle differences. Whoops, that's a one. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Four. I'm kind of hesitant to do anything with this top here. These legs are a little bit loose. Uh, here, but I have a feeling that when I fix this bottom part, uh, everything will be pretty sturdy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take off a couple of these sections here. It looks like there's a single screw that holds this down, and then I'm betting that it's doweled, uh, possibly doweled uh, somehow to the leg. So let's go ahead and take one of them off and see what we have here. This is definitely an older piece because there is a flat blade screw inside each one of these holes here and let's see if i can get this loose here doesn't seem to want to come up i'm going to have to loosen all of these i think all right this should be interesting let's see what we've got it came right up and all the screws are going to come falling out of those holes, I believe. So I got to keep an eye on those. One just fell into my hand, and that's the only one that fell off. How about that? Some clues that might help me date this. These are the screws that came out, and they're pretty modern looking. I mean, not, you know, last week modern, but probably could be very well 20s or 30s or, you know, I think this is before World War II, but after 1900. And there's another clue here, and that is that the bottom shelf is actually a hardwood ply of some type. And uh, looks to be about seven-eighths of an inch here, and looks like it has six plies to it. And we're going to have to do a little bit of repair to that. Here's a little tag. Looks like it was from an auction, maybe. So I wonder when that uh, was sold and how much it went for. Probably not much. And I just match mark everything just to make it easier to get it back together. So looking at the apron here, all the joints are loose. They were all glued. You can see glue residue uh, between these joints, but they've all dried out and come loose. And from piece to piece, it's a single dowel here, like this one. And there's glue residue on all of these, like that. And so I'm just going to scrape the glue loose on these and uh, just re-glue everything. And I'm going to do the entire glue up for this base all at the same time. Uh, after I get the repairs made uh, on the bottom. Shape. The only things I have to deal with, uh, these two uh, spindles here have been broken right here where they tie into this little shelf. And uh, luckily, uh, there's no damage to this turned part of the spindle. So I can just sand these flush here and I think I'll just use a dowel to repair. And this spindle here, actually it's loose in there, <coughs> is a little bit dog chewed. I'll just put a little bit of... Uh, wood dough in there and restain it and you should never know that it ever happened. Now the other thing I've got to deal with is uh, this plywood here. Uh, the plies have shrunk and expanded so there are a couple of loose plies on here and uh, some of the plies have uh, grown so I'm going to go ahead and sand that and make it flush. I'll use my spindle sander to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and take this thing all apart 
and get all the spindles loose and we'll clean this thing up. There are some small nails that were driven in through this shelf, it looks like to secure the tenons on these spindles. So I've got to get those out. And boy, they're just breaking off. You know, those might be driven through from the other side. I don't know. They don't seem to want to come out of there. Let's see if I can pound them out. Yep, I can feel it coming out the other side. And this one wants to come out. I am just going to have to coax it to come out of there. And I can tell it wants to come. And there it is. And there's that little nail. It looks like it was driven through at an angle. That's why I couldn't get it out. When I tap these uh, nails through, interestingly, they are under this, uh, it must be a veneer that's on the top of this. So I'll have to split away a little bit of the veneer, but I'll save the pieces and I should be able to salvage and re-glue everything. Or I might make a new piece. I don't know. There's the nail out of there. So I should be able to get this loose. Look at that. It came right off. So here's the veneer. And I'll just chip away a little piece of it. Save it. And there is our nail head. So now we can get this last nail out of here. Actually, I think I can use the hammer. Very thin. So I don't know if this was done at the factory or if this was done during uh, some uh, repair work that might have been done. All right, now we have that shelf out of there and we can repair it. And I can see it coming apart. And this one has a nail. It has a, has a uh, dowel, but it also has a nail that's been quartered in there. So that's got to come out. And there we go. There's that nail. Well, there's my jigsaw puzzle, my work for the next couple of days. Am I in too deep? Where do I start? I think somebody came along after and put these nails in. Uh, they just don't seem to fit with the general design of this thing. So I'll just wrestle them all out of there. So this is kind of interesting. I broke off some of the dowels. Uh, this is the top of the leg. And, and when you look at the hole, you can see the other side of that dowel down in there. And so it looks like these were just through drilled. So it should be pretty easy to clean these holes out. I'll just drill them from this side and drill out the uh, old piece. All right, so I've got most of the little chips from this veneer and I'm just gonna glue that back in here. Uh, it's a pretty easy job. They're a little bit splintery, so I had to sand them just a little bit so that they would fit in there again, but I got that, so that's pretty good. Great, my neighbors are firing up some music. That's okay. I think you get the gist of it. It's just glue and wood, simple. All right, so like that. I don't know what they're listening to over there. Sounds interesting. Some of the extra glue off. There will be squeeze out and we'll sand it. Got this block with a little piece of uh, tape on it so that it doesn't stick to any glue that squeezes out. All right, we'll let that dry overnight. And this is where another one of those little nails was, so it's not completely chipped out, but we should be able to get some glue under there. Let's take the screwdriver and make sure it's gooshed up in there real good. Wipe off the excess. And 
and we'll get a clamp on it. We'll move on to the next crisis. And there we go. And another. Just a little bit of glue under there. Take my magic screwdriver, work it up under there and get it into this little area here. And I'd say this is not going anywhere for another hundred years. Okay. Excess glue squoes out. Is squoes a word? I don't know. I have to look it up. And there we go. Got a couple pieces that have dowels broken off in them, and there's really no elegant way to do that. Just chew it out of there as best I can with the drill, and then between the knife, you should be able to get it all out of there. Maybe a pair of I think that'll come out of there. <clears throat> kind of meatball woodworking right here. Dowels are all about three eighths, so we're just gonna try to clean these holes out as best we can and make a nice square hole. That ought to do it. Do that for the rest. Every one of these joints has got to be cleaned out. Try to get as much of that old glue out of there as I can. Make sure we've got good wood to wood surface to glue. Nothing glamorous about this. Just got to scrape all that old stuff out of there. And it's pretty dry. It comes out of there pretty easily. Yeah, there we go. Got to get it off this dowel here and then a little sandpaper and it feels pretty smooth it comes right off of there this this finish is very very dry and the glue is long since given up the ghost but that should be good the legs all have a bit of a high glue left on them from the original glue up there's my neighbors again so i'm just using a scraper to get the high spots off that's the most of it. And then just some 120 grit. That's pretty good. They got all the big stuff off. And then the 120 does a pretty good job of getting it pretty much back down to the wood. I think that's pretty good. So this particular leg, the top of it, the dowel is broken off. But we're lucky because the, there is a dowel on either side and the leg was through drilled. So we can put this on the drill press. And I can drill it from the clean side all the way through the other side. And that will get all of the debris associated with that other dowel out of there. Boom. There it is. Bingo. Look at that. Beautiful.